Morning, afternoon, good morning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's still morning. Say good morning, baby. Oh, thank you, baby. You're so sweet. Oh, okay, okay. Good morning, you guys. So, I wake up this morning thinking it's going to be an amazing day. I immediately go look <laughs> at my stop it. Okay, I immediately go look at my timeline because that's what I do. Unfortunately, I am a millennial and I don't know how to put my damn phone down. So I get up, I check my Facebook, check my Instagram and my Twitter, and all over the place I see this H&M hoodie. And it immediately made me just want to roll over and go back to sleep and try again. I did that and when I woke up it was still there. So here we are. Talking about this coolest monkey in the jungle hoodie that H&M has produced and since apologized for. So I have um I have some comments. It's not going to be too deep or too long, but just a couple of little comments. First of all, I have to understand that H&M is not necessarily an American company. It is a company that comes from elsewhere. I haven't done any research about H&M, but I know that they're not an American company, and I'm okay with that. We have companies all over the United States that do not start here, but we have embraced them. So that's Number one. So, with that being said, I also have to understand and respect that the things that we, of of uh, the North American us, we have to understand is something that means something to us here in America could mean something to someone else, i.e., the word monkey. So, I have to have an open mind to the entire situation. That monkey may not mean what it means to someone else, like it means to us. But just let me put you up on game real quick. For years, African American people that were enslaved and even afterwards and still to this day were called monkeys. Our noses, our lips, the, our mannerisms when we get upset, they say you act like a monkey. Porch monkey. It's all racist slurs. And um, that's a problem. That's a problem that people don't take the time to educate themselves about the situation now the picture that you guys see in my thumbnail I'm still learning how to insert pictures and all that good stuff so bear with me um, the picture but the picture that you see in my thumbnail is a young black boy and this is in this hoodie now I've seen some people say oh I don't have a problem with it I let my child wear it me personally don't buy my kid anything with monkeys on it don't do it I will return it I will give it back to you I will throw it away don't buy if if the Lord allows us to have children. And i pretty, pretty sure people are going to be all excited and happy because, like, I'm the baby and it'll be, like, the baby having the baby. But don't buy my kid nothing with monkeys on it. I don't care how cute it is. I don't care if it comes in pink. I don't care if it comes in purple. I don't care if it comes in multicolored. Do not buy my child anything with monkeys on them. Now, understand that my reasoning for it is because of where it comes from. Now, I understand that African American people have a tendency of taking something negative and turn it into a positive. That is one of those things that I refuse to embrace. Period. Point blank. The end. I hate the fact that sometimes I cannot control myself from saying the N-word based off of the strength of where I grew up. I grew up in the inner city of Baltimore and not an excuse, but I still condition myself to not say that word. And when I do say that word, I got to sit down and go, damn, why did I say that? Because I feel some type of way. But that, that monkey, I will not embrace that. That will not be something that is a part of my life or my child's life or my husband's life. Don't buy my kid anything with monkeys on it. Now, with that being said, I respect the people out there who feel like it's not a big deal and it's not a problem. And they would allow their children to wear it because they're trying to take something that meant such a negative stereotype and they're trying to turn it into a positive. They're trying to turn it into... Um, something that we can take back, like the N-word, and we can embrace it, and we can make it our own, and I just, I'm not on that bandwagon. I don't embrace it. I don't think H&M meant any harm by it either. I don't think H&M deliberately woke up and was like, hey, let's piss off a bunch of black people today. Let's go bake a damn hoodie that says the coolest monkey in the jungle. And let's put a black kid in it. I don't think they thought about that. I think that that's just the way it happened. And now they have apologized. And this is the backlash to it. A lot of people are upset. A lot of people aren't upset. 
it is what it is. But I just need people to understand that for those people who are upset, respect the fact that they're upset. Respect the fact that they don't want to embrace the damn idea of calling us or our children monkeys. And we don't want to put that on our kids. We don't want, you understand what I'm saying? Like we are not in the business of being like, okay, let's take this and this and this. We want it to go away. We want it to go away. No, black people aren't perfect. We say things that we shouldn't say all the time. But for those of us who are conscious and aware, and we are trying hard to get rid of these things and not embrace them to make it seem like that is cool. Because the next thing you know, the minute we start embracing it, you guys get so pissy and so upset when a, a Caucasian person or anyone else that isn't black for that matter says the N-word to you. Now, how would you feel when you're walking around and someone that isn't black walks up to your kid? and go hey little jungle monkey now you're upset and you're angry but remember you chose to embrace this you chose to take this you chose to take this back remember that okay like I said I'm not judging you I just want you to remember that so that when you're on my timeline or somewhere in the world complaining about oh I can't believe my son was called a porch monkey today how racist you put him in that hoodie you put her in that hoodie. You made this okay. Okay? That's all I want to say about that. Is that you made it okay because you accepted this. And like I said, do I think H&M did this on purpose? Absolutely not. Do I think H&M need to take the hoodie down? I do. Do I think H&M needs to apologize? I do. I believe that all those things need to happen. But I don't think that they did it with malintentions. I think they thought that this hoodie was cute. Now, if H&M does not take it down... That's cool. I'm not going to go like start a protest or a riot. I'm not going to protest H&M because I don't go in there anyway. I'm not going to protest H&M and I'm not going to be like, no, I'm not going to. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that. I'm not. Because the reality of it is, no matter how much we protest, there's always 10 times more people embracing it and dealing with it. And H&M still wins no matter what. If we keep talking about it and protesting it, H&M is getting more publicity. People are going in trying to figure out what the hell is going on. If you guys just accept it, then just accept whatever the consequences may be from accepting that this hood is a thing and you thought it was cute. Oh, she's she's always so sleepy when she's home with me, but when dad comes home, she's up and playing. Well, I guess I guess that's a good thing. But I just wanted to address that like I'm I'm not mad. I just refuse to embrace it. I don't think they did it intentionally. I just think they should apologize and try another coolest kid on the block. <laughs> or the coolest, I don't know, anything but monkey though, right? But, I mean, hats off to the people who doesn't have a problem with it. And for the people who can see the insult in it, whether it was intentional or not, I feel you. So you guys comment. Let me know what you think. I, like I said, I didn't want this video to be long because... I'm on a fence. I, I respect both sides of the spectrum, especially because I'm one side of the spectrum. I'm not a neutral party. I, I am. It's a little disturbing to see it and, and, and feel like maybe that this is the path we're going down. If they can't use the N word because it's way, way too inappropriate, then now monkey could become the new N word. So let's hope not. Let's hope that, um, H&M learned a lesson from it and they'll do whatever is right for their business because it's a business and they got to do what's going to sell. So you guys comment, sound off. Let me know what you feel. Are you with the hoodies? Do you like them? Would you buy them? Would you let your kids wear monkey stuff? Because my kids can't. Sorry. Peace.